my channel. All living organisms have its own life. Like for example, a tiger, a human, or a plant. Today, we're going to see about the plant's life. There are two main parts of a plant. The first one is shoot. The next one is root. The shoot is the part where the plant grows above the soil. And the root is the part of the plant which grows under the soil. First, let's talk about the roots. There are two main types of roots. The first one is tap root and the next one is fibrous root. Tap roots have one thick root going to the bottom. Some of the examples of tap root are carrots, beans, radishes, mustard, turnips and beetroot. I love carrots. It's so delicious. I'll take a bite. Mmm, delicious. Next one is fibrous roots. Fibrous roots have many thin like hair roots and they have a bushy appearance. Some examples of fibrous roots are wheat, grass and onion. I'll tell you about the functions of the roots now. The first function is the roots absorb water, minerals and other nutrients from the soil. The second function of the root is it fixes the plant firmly in the soil not to be taken by strong winds such as a hurricane. Some plants store their excess food in the roots. Plants such as carrots, turnips and radishes, we eat the fleshy part of the roots. Next, let's move on to the shoot. The shoot is the part where the plant grows above the ground. The shoot includes stem, leaves, buds, flowers, fruits, and seeds. First, let's talk about the stem. The stem is the main part of the shoot. All the parts of the plant grow from the stem. Next, let's talk about the functions of the stem. First, the stem helps the plant to grow straight and upright. It also bears fruits, flowers, and buds. The stem acts like a pipeline. It carries minerals, nutrients, and water from the roots to the leaves. Then the leaves prepare their food. The stem also carries the food which is prepared by the leaves to all parts of the plant. Some plants store their excess food in the stems. Plants such as sugar canes store their excess food in their stems. Then we eat the juicy and fleshy part of the sugar cane. Next, let's talk about the leaves. The leaves grow from the stem. The le leaves are in different shapes and different sizes. We can identify a plant by looking at its leaves. This is a leaf. The flat surface of the leaf is called the leaf blade or the lamina. The thick Thin lines that are present on the lamina are called veins. And the thick line present in the middle of the leaf is called the midrib. The veins make a pattern on the lamina, like this one. You can see the pattern of the pattern of the veins in the leaf blade. The pattern on the lamina differs from plant to plant. Leaves have tiny holes in the upper side of the leaf. They are called pores. The pore helps the plant to breathe in and out. 
Some plants store their excess food in their leaves. Example, cabbage, fenugreek, spinach. Now, let's talk about the flowers, fruits, and seeds. Flowers are generally bright in color, and some flowers may have a sweet smell too. This helps them to attract birds and insects. You can see this insect very attracted to this flower. This insect is taking honey from these flowers. Come on, let's see the real buds, flowers and fruits. See, you can see a beautiful bud here. The bud grows into a flower. Then the flower grows into a fruit. See, you can see the fruit right here. Can you see it? It's very interesting, right? Nature does a lot of things. Some fruits have single seed, like mango. Others have many seeds, such as watermelon. Then, if we plant the seeds, it will grow into a new plant. This process is called it the germination. Then, the life cycle continues. If you like this video, please subscribe and share this to your friends and families. Please click on the bell button for more notifications on our videos. Bye-bye!